Today I'm going to react to Ralph Barbosa, Hood Nightclubs. Let's get into it. Nightclubs? People get shot in those here. I don't like them. You look at my face, I only get invited to the ones where someone's going to die that night. Hood people party at nightclubs like some ancient, like, sacrifice shit. Like, yo, there will be blood tonight, but it'll be worth it for a good night. Like, Around 1.45 a.m., everybody's drunk, everybody's still partying, but the eyes start looking around like, who's it going to be? Somebody. <laughs> hey, he right. Back in my days, I used to go to parties, and that's what used to happen all the time. Anyway, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a like, share this everywhere. We're on our way to... 6,000 subscribers. Let's go, Random Squad. Let's get back into this. Sorry about that. This night was too fun for someone not to get shot. <laughs> so I don't be at nightclubs, man. That's why I do comedy. I, I stuck to these. I'm gonna throw another one? Pineapples. Pineapples. My apples are juicy. That's all I got on that one. I like I like all pineapples, man. Upside down pineapples and what you and swingers. That's what it upside. I didn't know there was lingo. This I've been watching this crowd the whole night. This whole half is going to hell. Anyone from Texas should pay close attention. Residents of Texas who earned less than $50,000 in 2022 are now getting approved for a health stimulus. It was like upside down pineapples. One of y'all, I don't know who it was, yelled whores like 70 times. Every comedian, he was like whores. I saw his girlfriend like, would you stop? Like, I wanna talk about whores. Honestly, I feel free the whole time. I was like, they should talk about whores. Come on. <laughs> Yo, but okay, so if you have an upside down pineapple, it means you're a swinger. So what? <laughs> this dude fucks on cruises. <laughs> yeah, they were making fun of your haircut earlier, right? It's fucked up. You can't make fun. I mean, you can, but it's it's kind of wrong. <laughs> It's wrong to make fun of Mexicans with the little man bun ponytail. Because that's our heritage. It derived from that apocalypto shit. You remember that? It just went around full circle. This is 300 BC shit right here. Fucking around with our lineage. I would never rock it. It looks ridiculous, but... <laughs> All right, but... Like, if I want to swing... If I, so if I like just wake up one morning, like I want to fuck some dude's wife today, I want him to fuck mine. Well, I got to go to the grocery store. I imagine I need like a good pineapple to let him know I want a good woman, like ugly pineapple, ugly bitch, right? Like, cause if, I, if it's me and like, if I had a wife, I'm not going to let some dude with a beat up pineapple touch my wife. Like she's more, more than, more than that, bro. Come on. But I got to, that. Where do you meet the swingers at? You put them in your yard? Yo. So you gotta like, put like a stake in like the, you gotta plant the fucking big ass. Yo. But that's fucking wild, cause now your neighbors are just like, yo, I guess they get down like that. If you're really freaky, I bet you learn how to grow them upside down. Like, yo, this is how long we've been fucking other people's husbands and wives. <laughs> Got a garden. <laughs> Let's do another one. Weed and toe jam? I'm gonna go with weed. <laughs> now I'm a little worried about you getting out whores all night. Yo, by the seventh whore, I was like, that guy got cheated on. <laughs> 
It's like, horn. It's talking about any horn. And Toe Jam, did you fuck Ricky? I sucked the jam off his tongue. So what are you doing? He's just freestyling this. That's, that's, that's kind of different. He's just freestyling. Just tell him, give me a word. And I'm going to make a joke out of it. That's dope. That's different. Holes. That was it. Like, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking horse. Right. And somebody said weed, which is amazing. I don't know what else to say about it. That's... <laughs> weed is good. Uh, very good. I started smoking when I was like 13. I was bullied into it. Honestly, I had a heart for the dude. It was a big dude. I grew up with the guy. He, he got into way heavier drugs. I, I drew the line at weed. But I remember we were like 12, 13. He's like, yo, smoke this weed with me. I got weed. And I was like, nah, no way, man. He was like, smoke this weed with me or I'm going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> like, yo, are you that desperate for friends? <laughs> this guy was literally on some like, if you're not with me, you're against me. So I was, like, I'm going to smoke weed with you because I feel like if I don't, you'll be suicidal later, man. Like, and I didn't, I didn't really want to keep smoking weed with the dude on account of uh, he's crazy. <laughs> so I didn't admit that I liked it. I was like, this is dumb. But I was like, you ever seen SpongeBob when Squidward found out he likes Krabby Patties? <laughs> That's how my friends were there. Like, you like marijuana, don't you, Ralph? <laughs> I was like, All right, I do. <laughs> I like weed and pineapples. <laughs> not upside down though, don't fuck my wife. I'm not married, but when I get one, don't fuck her. Pop tarts? Uh, Pop tarts? Pop tarts, what is it? Torso strudels? Ah shit, bloods and cribs. <laughs> I, look, like, if you watch the commercials, Pop tarts is like, the one that I thought was ghetto, I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't fuck with those. Like, but as I started spending the night at people's houses, Pop Tarts is on some middle class shit. <laughs> yeah. I like Pop Tarts. I like Toaster Strudels too, but it's too much work. I gotta put the icing on there. That's, that's too much, especially after you buy them at a self checkout store. It's like I sold them to myself, now I gotta create them. <laughs> this is bullshit. I've heard Pop-Tarts like, can get people sick. As long as I don't gotta make them, that's fine though. I'll take the cancer, just don't make me work. All right, next one. We're Latinas, another porn one. Therapy. Latinas don't do therapy. Latinas recommend therapy. They, yeah, that's all I got on that one. I won't go Latino route. Cartel, anything else? Hold on, hold on. What'd you yell at? Influencers and cartels. And babies. Yeah, I hate when influencers and like those YouTube families have babies. I feel like that baby was created just for content. <laughs> Be creatives are not your typical video editors. We know what works best in videos, but we also do what works best for your brand. You can make babies for content, you know, like porn, but don't, don't create the baby just to have videos. As far as cartels go, I'm for them. <laughs> They keep the economy going. Let's be honest. I mean, they murder and, and, and rape a lot. And, but at least they do it in Mexico. It's like sweatshops. As long as it's not here, you know? That's crazy. It's got an iPhone. Fuck it. All right, we'll do, we'll do one more. Basic bitches. Basic bitches. And then, and then his girl does the... He's like, basic bitches, I love him. And she was like, he does, he does love me. <laughs> Wait, any, anything else other than basic bitches? I'm stuck on that one. Virgins, religion, basic bitch. This does remind me of something. Uh, teen pregnancy. 
Here, here's why. I got a little sister, and she's not pregnant. Well, she better not be. <laughs> Only God knows. But she has a little friend. A little friend got pregnant and went to a school that's for pregnant bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Like, only in America, right? Like, a, it's a school for only pregnant teenagers, which is wild, because imagine if some regular girl try to go apply. They're like, you don't qualify. You're not fucking like that. Virgin, get out of here. All right, let's get Jeremiah back up here. Yo, I didn't know Ralph did that much cursing. Hopefully I won't get yellow more. But anyway, uh, it was a good one. He was funny. I like, hey, that's different. He just freestyling, whatever. Hey, give me give me a topic. And he just go off of it and make a joke out of it. That's dope. He had something to say almost all of them. A couple of them he said, ah, oh, I'll pass on that. But uh, that was funny. The basic uh, women, that was funny. Uh, the nightclubs, that was real funny, and I can relate, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> it was funny. But anyway, that's it. Hold on, let me go do my rating right quick. Two thumbs up, very creative and funny. All right, that's it, guys. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a like, share this everywhere. Road to 6,000. Let's go. Let's get it. Peace.